So in this demo, you're gonna have to bear with me. This is a really advanced trick when you are working in a group setting, when multiple people have access to the same file, like you're working in a studio. Um, this is called tracking changes. So I'm gonna go to open and in chapter five, folder 18, I'm gonna open up tracking changes and we don't have anything to track yet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is click and drag a text frame. I'll hit Command D for a document. And we'll bring in this history from folder 18 as well. Just a bunch of text to start to edit. Okay, my I'm sitting at work and my buddy from down the hall comes in. She says, hey, uh, we just got another customer who came in. So can I have you go through this file? Just double check everything. I'm going to go work on somebody else's logo. Okay, we're a team, so I gotta pick up where she left off. Okay, what I'm gonna do is set myself up as a user because if I deleted a word or changed a word, how's she gonna really know what I did? There's so much text on here, you wouldn't be able to tell. So I'm gonna go to File Menu and I'm gonna come down to User. And I'll type in my name, Chris Nielsen, I'll set myself up as green user colors. And the thing that's gonna work with this is window menu, editorial, track changes. We'll use that a little bit later, but that's gonna go along with what we're doing, okay? So let me go in and set this up. I'm gonna to go to type menu track changes, and everything is grayed out. So what I have to do is click inside the text frame first with a type tool. You gotta tell InDesign you intend to start editing text. So I've clicked in the word the. Now I go to type, track the changes in this current text frame. If I had a document multiple pages and I'm doing changes all over the place, I would say enable tracking in all the stories. But I only have one on this page, so I'll track the changes in this current story. Okay, now I can start, it's basically now it's recording what I'm doing. Okay, so G.I. Joe, an enlisted soldier in the U.S. Army, okay, I'm gonna highlight that and say especially in World War II, let's get rid of that asterisk right there. And they're talking, the word GI, government issue, was a term for the American everyman. So I'm gonna highlight the E and type a capital E, M for a capital M. And let's see, the team reborn. Now I'm gonna highlight that and say a new adventure team is reborn we'll add an exclamation point there all right cool i like that i added a few changes so now i send it back to my partner down the hallway how's she going to know what i did the changes are so subtle how are you even going to know that so she goes to edit edit with and edit in story editor is grayed out remember you got to take your type tool Click to activate typography. Now I go to edit, edit in story editor, and it immediately highlights every change that I just made. Okay, I added especially, I took out the asterisk, I deleted the small e and capitalized it, I deleted the small m and capitalized the m, I've added an exclamation, I added the word is, I scratched out the word the, and said a new adventure team is reborn. So she can tell what I did, okay? What she does is she's ready to look at it, and then all of a sudden another customer comes in. Oh my gosh, I'm busy on another job. So now she wants another person to check over my work. So that person gets the file, they go to file, user, and now we'll say uh, Marie Nielsen is gonna check this file and her check 
changes are going to come up as magenta. Okay, so now she gets the file, opens it up on her desktop, starts reading through this, and we got these big paragraphs, but this one really doesn't fit with the rest of it. So she's just going to highlight all this and take it out. And that's it. That's it. Saves the file, sends it back to the uh, previous person. Now she opens it up on her desk again. Edit. Can't edit in the story editor, so I gotta click with my type tool. Edit, edit in story editor, and here we go. Chris made these changes. Marie made these changes. Well, let's say she agrees with this. Yeah, Marie was right. I didn't like those two lines, or those three because of the window. I didn't like those, so I agree. We should take that out. So you click anywhere in that color and it says who that color was. Otherwise, how would you know who is purple and who is green and who is blue? You click in the color. It says that color belongs to Marie. She made that change on this date at this time. And what she did is deleted that text. If we agree, click the check mark. I accept that. That's gone. Now she scrolls back up here and says, you know what? I don't like that Chris changed the name of my uh, article. No, I want the team reborn. I don't like a new adventure. What was he thinking? No, 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 no. Cross that off, reject it. Click in the is, uh, let's see, new team is. There you go, click inside the word. Nope, reject that, don't like it. Okay, I like the exclamation point. We'll click there and let's see if we can get that. Let's highlight it. Let's see if we can highlight. Gotta click right on there. Huh. Okay, all the other ones that are really small, I'm gonna look at this mark, accept all the rest of the changes there. Okay. Now I can close it and our article has been updated. Okay, I accidentally cut off the word. So, the Team Reborn, there we go. Um, especially in World War II, I added the exclamation point. But man, when you are working on a group project, it can get really confusing, like I just showed you. But you do have the ability to track changes in a document if multiple people have access to it. Not something I'm really favorable on, but know that it's there in case you ever need that in your future text editing is crazy how are you going to know which words disappear and don't disappear that's with users okay so keep that in mind for tracking changes in a document it's a lot of steps it's an advanced feature but just because it's advanced doesn't mean i'm going to skip over it i've never had to use it but that doesn't mean you might need to use it in the future so there you go, tracking changes in an InDesign file.